What up, YouTube? So this is week nine of veg. Strain Afghani. Want to talk about the Brie level. When you're growing plants, the sugar level in the soil is called Brie, B-R-I-X. And you want your Brie level of cannabis to be around 25. <coughs> um, we test uh, we test the brie level by taking off some couple leaves. Give me that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, we come through and we take off a leaf, some like little shit. When I'm cleaning up the nodes, I'll come through and I'll take a couple little things. Like hypothetically, I'll come in and take this right here and this one back here, and then I'll take the leaf and I'll crush it up and smash it with some pliers until I get a little bit of juice out of it. And you take a refractometer and you put the little bit of juice on the refractometer lens and read it. And you get a specialty uh, refractometer for reading the Brie level. And you want to keep it at around, tw around 25. Uh, a way that you could eyeball it is if the leaves are shiny on top, like these are, uh, it's hard to see in the sun. But when you come into the shade, you can see they just have a, a nice shine to them. You see like this shine right here? That means that the Brie level is in adequate levels. And if the Brie level is below 25, they'll start to look dull and matte, like a matte finish. And so you just gotta make sure that your plants stay shiny. Um, what the brie is, the sugar content, it helps res resist pests and bugs. Uh, I never have spider mites or any types of issues like that. Uh, occasionally, I'll have a breakout of like aphids, which spider mites show little white dots, aphids show, you know, a couple little yellow bite marks, dots, splotches. But uh, another issue that I had is uh, when you're growing tomatoes, you'll see like the bottom little leaves start to go kind of larfy and yellow and you spray baking soda on them well when cannabis does that when cannabis gets that fungus what starts to happen is you start to have necrosis and your leaves start to do this half of it will look good and half will look bad if you get the 50 50 then what you do is you mix one tablespoon of baking soda per gallon of water so last night i mixed up eight tablespoons of baking soda and two gallons of water and came out at midnight and sprayed my plants real good. And what the baking soda does is it brings the pH down past five, it neutralizes everything, it kills any type of funguses or anything that's growing on your plants and uh, makes them come back really nice. So anyways, today is my bending day for that plant and that one. And you guys will see those next week. But I'll take you over and show you the other plants. They're growing pretty well now. <sighs> it's a nice sunny day, no clouds whatsoever. Today's my dry out day. I hit the end of my brew regimen and so today is a dry out day and tomorrow I start back up with the earth juice grow and worm tea again which I'll show you in a second this is eye level so now they've reached over my head they're about three feet tall bushes so we're fighting uh, timing right now Okay, I made these at midnight last night and it is now 10 o'clock. This is the Earth Juice Grow with Microblast. And here's the worm tea. Tonight will be the 24 hour mark and I'll add molasses to it. And we'll be good to go from there for another day. For those of you who have been following, a little update on the tomatoes. You can see the white on there. I sprayed the tomatoes with baking soda last night too. So this is what I was talking about. 
is when tomatoes start to get the bottom branches doing this kind of funky shit, you neutralize all that by spraying baking soda on your plants. So, sprayed them last night, and tonight I will be cutting off all that bad, fucked up vegetation down here. We got some beans intertwined. I was just pressed for space, so I wasn't really fucking around. Um, this part of the yard, you know, it's only 10 o'clock, but the shade's already coming in. The sun moves this way, so the shade's going to keep coming, and I probably hit the shade about 1 o'clock every day here. But you can already see our beans forming. And they're looking pretty danky, man. And I'm growing uh, all of this stuff the same way that I grow my cannabis. We got some Roma tomatoes down here forming. So I'm excited to taste those. That's my favorite kind of tomato, Roma. And for those of you who didn't know, I'm actually a certified chef. I went to culinary school. And I worked as a chef in the valley here for years where I live and all over. Uh, I'm actually, my specialty is pastry. I'm a pastry chef. But I've been an executive chef. I've ran kitchens, a saucier. Uh, I've done everything all, all the way through a kitchen. And so this year, I'm going to be uh, showing you guys how I cook with cannabis and how to make glees and tinctures. And I have a vacuum oven. And I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my waxes and stuff. So like I said, the brie level is the shininess of the leaves. And if you can see, the shininess, so. It's gonna be fun. <sighs> Looking forward to uh, this season. This, every year, every year it gets better around here, so. It's gonna be pretty fun, but. Anyways, thanks for watching, thanks for the support, and uh, I'll be getting back at you guys in one week. Peace out.